Carl asks, uh, does anyone have any good methods of dealing with team sprawl? I've inherited. Whoa, that's that's a well, there's <laughs> we there's a topic. We also solve world peace at the same yes, time. Right. Yes, yes. <laughs> right here. The next five minutes. I've inherited dun, dun, dun. an instance. <laughs> And to say it is a mess would be an understatement. We have more teams than we have people. I've already turned off the create team function for most okay. people to stop it getting worse. But now I have to sort out this disaster. So good methods for dealing with team sprawl. It's going to involve a spreadsheet and a drink and a late night. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and a wooden a minimum, spoon a to minimum. slap people in the back of the hand. Yeah, yeah I had I had one. Um, a fellow in IT and they just got teams and he decided to set up a team for pretty much every team. So overnight there were 76 teams overnight with no consultation or what do they need or the naming convention or were there already shared mailbox and distribution lists with names so then there was multiple names going on in the cal oh look it was just so yeah I, I get the sprawl but I mean he did well by at least stopping the creation of them this can be a, just a even if it's just a you, you get an app to just put a one step between creating going do you need is there one already created but as yeah. you said an Sharon, approval process person, right just a yeah, one step approval, approval process, process where people have Simple. to submit and there's somebody who clicks the approval button massively lowers the amount that are created if that's all you do you're gonna that's gonna get you well on your way there's, yeah, but the horse uh, yeah, is already out of the out of the gate right yeah, He's, yeah. you know so let I, I like to go back to my simple, you know, who needs to work together? What are they working on and how they get that work done and yeah. doing a matrix. So I create like a matrix of all the teams and then the people, depending on which one's wide or which one's tall, and just say, who needs to work together? And when you start seeing consistency, that should have been a team. And then what, what were they working on? Those become the channels of the team instead of having one team for events and another team for, you know, um, you know, company events. Well, maybe that's different, but, and then if needed strategically add private channels for subgroups, if you need to, but strategically don't go crazy with private channels. That's well, my thing. Well, th and, and that's a great point. It's not just about, you know, uh, uh, like the, there are provisioning tools that are out there and I'll come back to that, but they're, you know, but that often doesn't help to answer this question of like, Hey, I'm in the midst of it right now. How do I clean this up? But I would say that uh, there are third-party tools that are out there. This is a class of tools that have been built for by ISVs, partners out there um, for teams uh, to solve this problem so that there's a provisioning process in the front end. Mm -hmm. We can actually go and apply that and it applies like a governance layer. Well, it will force all existing sites to then adhere to a review process. So then what happens is the owners of each of those sites after 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, whatever you yeah, assign, have to go through and and justify is it still active and what's still going on with it is it still necessary and so do it I forces them to do some cleanup it? right yeah. <laughs> yeah. Kind of clean I, well, because, i've tackled it as well yeah. christian from a from a couple of ways with going into organizations because i'm dealing with the you know the end user and the business side and there's often already sprawl i always go well how far into it are they if you've got then some history of exactly that they're not using and you know who is in it um training i've often gone in and gone you know because often they've got them there but they just don't know all they're really doing is having it for the files but they just haven't got to the point where they're understanding how to work out loud in channels. So part of that is education. Are they going to use it? And I start to see them removing and consolidating and because the people that have created in the first place often just don't know what or why. So it comes down to an education piece to be able to do it. And then you've got the back end technical of here's the list and asking, asking the organisation and sending information out um, I've done where we've done a sort of even just a merged email where it's going, this is your team. This is what's going on. It's not being utilised. Do you need it? And doing it that way as well, where we've kind of tackled it from just a just a generic sort of email going out sort of thing you know what do you need and why but education is usually the biggest the biggest way to start turning it around yeah well yep. governance 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 right from there yep. go yep <laughs> yeah. well yeah, and, but... and a lot of you know one of the things is well how do i organize it and i a lot of times will find out how how does your organization group like, because a lot of places group in different ways. So certain industries group by project. 
some group by department, some group by teams, right? So like there's a natural order in most companies about how they group people, yeah. like Sherry was saying, grouping Projects, people who work together or, on the same yeah. thing. Um, and, and how so they think, work together, not how their org chart is. Right. Their yes. org chart is right. different than how they work. It's right. how they work day yeah. to day. Do you work in projects? Do you work in departments? Do you work in teams? Do you work in committees? Right. Those mm -hmm. typically tend to make very, very good team choices. And then, like you were saying, just kind of pull them in from some of those disparate teams and maybe get rid of those older ones. Make them a channel. But the hard part mm -hmm. is you can't move the content. You can't move the conversations that already exist. So yes, you, you can. Gotta, you can as now? As you can migrate them. Yes, you can. Oh, conversations. So yeah, yeah, you can migrate conversations? conversations. You can migrate chats. You can migrate content. I've been doing it for clients for the last couple months. So my understanding was only content. So I'm happy. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we need, yeah. We need to talk. We need to talk. Yeah.